Well, folks, I'm here to ruin your week. Oh, yeah, and welcome to Last Chance Chats. In the ninth chapter of Matthew's Gospel, a few disciples of John the Baptist approach the ever more controversial rabbi from Nazareth, Jesus, and they ask him, Why do your disciples not fast like we and the Pharisees do? To which Jesus responds, Can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? There will be the day when the bridegroom is taken away, and then they will fast. Newsflash! Jesus Christ has ascended into heaven. You know what that means. It's time to fast. It's time to do penance. But anyone on campus may ask you, how does giving up Starburst or forgoing an opportunity to eat in the stir-fry line at the new view, does that really help you to be a better Christian? Good question, pagan. The church, and many other religions for that matter, teach us that the human person has both a material dimension, the body, with legs and arms and armpit hair and all, and a spiritual dimension, the soul, both of which together form human persons. Men and women cannot be reduced to their mere, mere bodies, throwing out the soul. Nor can the soul be emphasized so much that the body is degraded and viewed as evil. Both are good. Both are necessary. Both make us who we are as human persons. Why did you go on that tangent? Good question, pagan. Because now we know that our physical gestures, our actions, can influence our interior dispositions, our beliefs and our emotions, and vice versa. Our beliefs and emotions can affect the way that we act, for better or for worse. So why do we do penance? Because of our past sins, and because of our tendency as fallen creatures to turn away from God. We do external penances to raise interiorly our minds and our hearts to God. Oh. And remember, we aren't seeking penances for the sake of penances, nor are we seeking the admiration of our peers. By doing penance, we are seeking to be interiorly converted to God, and this conversion then changes and shapes the way that we live, to live as better Christians in our world. The church has traditionally given us three forms of penance. Fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. Next week, fasting. Now you can stick that in your pipe and smoke it. If you didn't give up smoking tobacco, that is.